Okay. Ya, dang anzo kasa. Kasa se na mendo kati mo de la. Ele to ba. Tena show de nigi de wa. Eh, shugu e. Hm. Eh, shogle dun so mare. Dun de tonchi. Ele to ba din jo ba. Dun jo ma to ju ri du. Ri tu re ba. Don't be chocolate cadence. Never come on. Long you sit it. You let root somebody. The taste that roots are it's chas and do you know how come so? Also, Kazan Sun so hat Jangju Semba, Chöpa Lak Keshing, Tatsu Trim Sun, Sun Genshi Gogi Ures. Ah. Ja, und da. Schaut da, du machst die Lehne, ne? Du machst da, du machst die Lehne, ne? Und da, da geht's ja tige. Hm. Just to make sure, last time we already looked at verse 24. Is that correct, or? Yeah. We also looked at 25 as well, I think. Okay. Yeah. 25. Alle. Oh, Verse 25. Was it finished or did we did, did we finish that? No, that did it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Just on that don't be chocolate. Can you can she don't like it? Don't want boss in engine there. Lama Sango shall charge so the shower. So the Yanka Okay, so anyway, let's resume uh, with verse 24 one more time. So, however, in case you try but cannot find such a spiritual teacher, I shall explain another correct procedure for taking the vow. That Tomba Naraz Janju Simba Tomba. Bobby, you get Lama de Kanish Gure assist. We are ta, don't that dig up the kitchen girl. Lama de Ladine, Changusin Bedin, Tomba Bobby Lama Lama de Ladine, your nation dish gugres. In the presence of a shin and damage gugres. That she none at Tango de Cares, Lundi Lama Sambetin to Shiver Chakota Karin son to be choganings. Yada Valem Kurangi. Ta choket on a tomba lembash gugares. Kuran Lama Kuran la tomba lembash gugares. Ta lo tomba lembas on the mind of tomba mania was so much gugares. Dine Jesse to a chung say young by chungan the tomba chichi jabash gugares, chichi the tabla chichi the tab in the sloa. The dollar, the dealer, the dealer chair, didn't it? Tomba chichi jadan condescend. What in the like cave, didn't she of prisons of one Dabachi? Gugres, Tit and what it In this verse, uh, the topic is discussed as uh, what kind of qualities does a Lama need in order to be a proper um, a proper giver of the Bodhisattva vows? So, such a Lama should be endowed with four qualities. The first one being that. The teacher, this teacher, him or herself, needs also to have taken previously the bodhisattva vows uh, through the ritual of taking them, and then needs to have the vows intact. This means that the vows should not be uh, degenerated in some way. And if that's the case, in some moment in time they were harmed or impaired, then this person needs to immediately repair them and therefore that's one of the qualities that such a lama needs to have. Me lama rani la tene ka en sa tene ba de la a chanju sembe chiru pusun so ba ma tena chiku gures. Ta sumba de la tene chanju sembe to ba shen la bo ba shen la ta a bo ni ve tene Kasabat and the Bachkuri, Tera Boya, the Nipova Kuri, 
And other the other two qualities are <coughs> that that person needs to be endowed with the discipline of a bodhisattva. The third quality is that that, that person, uh, in order to give <coughs> this vow to somebody else, needs to have the capacity to do so. The capacity, but also the confidence and also the patience. This one. Oh. <coughs> And then the person also needs to be a compassionate person, a person that has a good intention behind everything and that has uh, love for intention behind. <clears throat> so I'm just looking, um, there is a question in the chat box. How can we know if a potential giver of the vow has degraded or broken their vows or not? Oh, that's it. Lama di Domba Nyam Yume どんばっちゅうゆめえ、夏かんでさこ、かこぐれ、はことまわで。まれ。だかいんすな。あ。ラマコランゲンね。次に出てじゃ、たんはちちゅうぐやです。うん。だいね、ラマで、どんばだに
Mingyo Batam gave teachers of Mondos. Tell a Yonet of the Towers. Yonet the Lama de la Yonet and the Giova, the Sheva Chavala, social logic among Majana. How you day about how goes a Marwana? Chela Chela Matsonga by Chimberge, Quran Namba Nala, La Cabla Yosa, Tampo Tashi Tumba Mandos, Tampo Chulogan Chevore, Sundata. Part of Lujon Cheva to get some of the social similar, but to get a shower chevers, damper showers. Come out in the dining, they go to Yamsalam for a search. That would get a bassoon and a chunga. Can go the Lujon Che, Niba de la Sheba, Jasumba de la Yam Neches. What the Dutton would need the tongue, my shivers, to what Tampa Jacho to a month of sales. Come out that ship, Lujon Cheva to get some. So there is a saying in Tibet um, that I didn't fully catch, but the meaning is that um, don't follow somebody just because they are famous, just because they have a great name. We should really make sure as much as we can if they are truly endowed with qualities. And of course, that's something that we cannot fully know unless we already are very skilled and well, well versed with what it actually means to have qualities and what kind of qualities we're talking about. How they express and so on and so forth, and we we cannot we should always rely on the steps as they were taught by Lama Tsongkhapa and lived uh, through his example, also demonstrated through his own example that we can see in his biography, saying always practice through uh, the proper steps. So always first. Make sure that you learn and study, that you gain a proper understanding, then really integrate it into your, your, your mind, making it become knowledge out of learning, make it become knowledge, embody it, and then day and night practice it. So then that, that would refer to the stages of the path, in other words. No, I that in a garson dos and a da, summa changus in the satagis. Children lose soon joy, soon joy, young that thing in them by ye, Lama Sala Tombalan, said the And then the next verse about the ritual of taking the Bodhisattva vows. I shall write here very clearly, as explained in the ornament of Manushri's Buddha Land Sutra, how long ago, when Manushri was Ambaraja, he aroused the intention to become enlightened. Tomedan, Shola, Chesutan, and Masumi incident. Lama la Lama Chorane, Sudden Gilula, Tenjuela, Star, Lama, then Papa, the Tomingit, then a Sudden Gilu, Naluna, a dull castle, that Chorach Macquoyer, what they think is, Chor the digital thing is. And with this verse, Atisha is saying that he will explain the procedure of the ritual based on how it was explained by Asanga in the 
chapter on the discipline of a bodhisattva and then also uh, based on Shantideva's procedure. Mm. And both of these author who are who are also known as the um, two pioneers in the Buddhist world, among others. So there is just a little difference in how they explain the procedure. The meaning, however, remains the same. And there's also um, one of the differences is that they have a different philosophical background. Same mm -hmm. meaning tenet. One is the one is the Chita Matra, the mind only, mm -hmm. and the other one is the Madhyamaka background. Mm -hmm. However, the main structure of the ritual and the key part are the same. And sorry, the advice is also the precepts. Yes. And then, therefore, it, we come to the procedure itself, and that's um, about the first one taking the Bodhisattva vows from a authentic and qualified teacher. Mm -hmm. Then and the ritual is a little bit um, vast, so it can be divided into three main parts. One is the preparation, then the main part, mm -hmm. and the conclusion. And the main part, uh, sorry, the, the preparatory part mm -hmm. consists of seven mm -hmm. points. And they can be uh, summarized as following. So uh, there are the preparatory prayers, supplications, then the generation of interest, of um, yeah, of interest, then accumulation of merit, then there's the exhortation, then the generation of the special mindset, then there's the part where uh, with question and answers regarding obstacles, whether there are or not for taking the vows. And then um, the preparation concludes with a short uh, set of advices. Uh, Tundu, 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 Tundu,
<clears throat> if you are familiar with the yoga in six sessions, then um, you find the whole ritual in there. Chanju and just to give you a little reminder of the preparatory part and the main part of, of the Buddhist mm -hmm. vows, and it starts with a supplication to uh, to the, the Lama, the victorious ones and the heirs, and, and saying please um, think of me please listen to me be my witness and then in the main part with the bodhisattva the repetition of the bodhisattva vow the words are um, more or less the following or the meaning of the words is the following so So, so just as the previous Buddhas have generated the mind of awakening, of supreme awakening, and trained in it accordingly <coughs> in the Bodhisattva precepts and conduct, step by step and in the, the way how they have abided by these precepts just in that same way me too me the person taking the vows today i will for the sake of all sentient beings also generate the mind of awakening today and i will train just as you did in the conduct of a bodhisattva in the vast conduct of a bodhisattva, just like you did. And in short, the meaning is, um, or the verse is really there to show us the power that we have and to encourage us to manifest that power that we all have. So saying, um, just 
as you, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of all times, have generated the mind of awakening, taken the Bodhisattva vows, and henceforth train mm -hmm. in the precepts and the conduct of a Bodhisattva, for the sake of all sentient beings, <clears throat> I will do it exactly like you. Okay. <laughs> Then Caso dun do gap kunjo son yesam na sem kera. Ngo ta de de ta ngo san ta chi chi nya de. Ngo ta de de yin ba yin de. Chang ju sin be tu ke sem ke ne chang ju sin ga tong ba ti sun. Ta chang ju sin be chu jun chu jun la de ngo yin ge. Ta se sha na ge la ba na shi shi ya da. To because this is very important, one more time, what is the core of the Bodhisattva vows? It is that we are following in the footsteps of all previous Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. They also started with generating the mind of awakening, with generating bodhicitta. And they did it in front of all previous Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of their time, previous to their time or present to their time. And then uh, what we do is we do it in front of the Lama or we do it in front of the three jewels, uh, visualizing them, inviting them into the space. So that's exactly the same thing here. And then afterwards, then we take the Bodhisattva vows. And then just like they did, we train in the discipline and the conduct of a Bodhisattva, just like in our case, the present and past mm -hmm. Bodhisattvas didn't do. So I, we intend, we commit to practicing, following in their footsteps and training exactly as they did. So it's the, here is really also training the courage and confidence in this, in this process. This one. This one. That's all. Oh, yeah, that was it. ただ and you all are all familiar with the Mahayana refuge. So sometimes His Holiness the Dalai Lama gives the Bodhisattva vows merely through the, the words of the refuge. Because the words that we repeat when we take refuge uh, until Buddhahood for the sake of all beings through the, the paramitas, the practices of, of patience and so forth. These four lines, and at least in Tibetan, they are four lines, they already include all the steps. So there's all the bodhicitta of aspiration and there's also the bodhicitta of application. Mm. 
And then, therefore, we start with taking refuge and therefore generating bodhicitta, taking this bodhisattva vow. And then it is very important that after that we contemplate for a moment the four immeasurables. Not <laughs> Then <laughs> Sangue and then in the conclusion, there are five aspects. The first one is generating the understanding, acknowledgement that now we have become also sons and daughters of the victors of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So really acknowledging, I now, by having taken the Bodhisattva vow, I have become also a son or daughter of the victors. And then the next point is that, and there are also lines that we repeat to, to, to contemplate about these points. And this, this other line then refers to the commitment from now on, I will also act accordingly to this noble, uh, to act in accord with this noble family to whom I now belong. So after I have taken the bodhisattva vows in front of the Buddhas and bodhisattvas, it is obvious that now I will act accordingly because I have become part of this noble family. And that means, in, in very simple words, I will refrain from harming in any way with body, speech, and mind. And I will only accomplish what benefits. Mm -hmm. Tandangaranzo, <laughs> 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 <
And then another point is to acknowledge once more that right now we have obtained the precious human body, precious human existence because of our virtue from in the previous in a previous life or in the previous lives. And for that reason, for our previous actions and in previous lives, now in this life we have come in contact with what is so difficult to encounter, the teachings of the Buddha. And not only that, we have also the chance to practice them. We have all the circumstances that are suitable for Dharma practice. And therefore, acknowledging the precious circumstances that we have right now and committing or creating the wish to make sure that this will also be the case for our future life, that we are not, that we will make sure to cultivate actions and so forth, mindsets and so forth, that will lead to a positive rebirth also in the future and not to a rebirth in the lower rounds. <laughs> Mr. Hama Khan, you were the shin to do your arm, Kalatayanis. Run you towards your one dance. Shingy, pen the duration to that. Towards your bar, Rua. The mother met such. Yes, sir. And then, uh, what we what we have, what we possess, are the three doors of body, speech, and mind. And therefore, once we have generated bodhicitta and taken the bodhisattva vows, then these three doors are uniquely in service of accomplishing the benefit of sentient beings. So we dedicate our full potential towards accomplishing the benefit of all. So there is nothing, no preoccupation for my own sake is left. We, all, our, um, all our powers, the three doors, are dedicated towards accomplishing the benefit of others, of all sentient beings. So that entails, therefore, that, that this life, our very life, is a life of service, a life of service for the benefit of all beings. And Chicken when we talk about practicing the Dharma, 
then that very word in Tibetan actually, chö is a verb which means to change, to transform. So the Dharma practice is a practice of transforming the mind. And that means to change this confusion, the, the, this dull, um, clouded state of mind that we have right now to transform that or to remove that in order to make wisdom arise, to let wisdom shine through. Lingla Nagi Tade Narang Milu de Milu Genshinch Chigginis Milu Jubajan Chigginis Tedesana Tadana Numu de Dala Gunt Tongu Numu de Dala Gunt Matuna Takaras Chigres and Numu de Melos at Tavshi Chigma Tanazo That means to understand or to make the effort in seeing and learning to see the faults of our afflicted states of mind. For example, anger and ignorance and jealousy and pride and ego fixation, egoism and so on and so on. So it's really about understanding and that these factors are false or mistakes, that they have a lot of shortcomings. They lead us towards suffering. Not only lead they to uh, wasting in a way this, or this, this life that we have, creating a lot of negativity in this life, but that will then also have an impact on our future lives and uh, therefore entail a rebirth in some kind of painful state in lower realms and so on. And we should understand that all of these afflictions are what cause negative karma. They are responsible for any sort of negative karma. And therefore we need to really make sure that this life becomes valuable, that it will not go to waste. And in order to make sure that this life will not go to waste, we have to understand that the afflictions are bringing a lot of suffering. And in that sense, they are, they are false. They are, um, yeah, they are, they are false. And we need to see it because without understanding that, without seeing this clearly, we will not try to remove them. Susan is a subsequent. You move the dog a turn to 
Tele yönde de namya mı dağılacak? Kim başı yiyin başı sanırdan. Tadı sanırdan yiyin de ko sapsa çaba yiyin. Konu kim mi ama? Konu mi şantaj getirdik ya ama? Sus sapsa mı acaba konu kim mi ama? Yavaşça ne kuyucu olsun şimdi ama getirdik ya ama. Konu değil. Çaba mı şantaj ama? Kuyucu olsun. Ha kuyucu getirdik ya ama. Sonunda mağara bak. Sosu sapsa çayı yapma. Sosu, sosu lama yapma şeridi tam. It is really the case that uh, joy and suffering are not, you know, made by a creator. There is no creator that uh, decides what, what sentient beings will feel today. It is all in our own hands. It's our own responsibility. And therefore, we have to train in seeing clearly the afflictions for what they are, faults or shortcomings. So for example, let's take anger. And anger, so therefore we train in, in seeing that anger is not at all desirable, that it has only shortcomings coming along and there's nothing beneficial in it. And once we understand that, then we will in the future be careful not to uh, give space to anger. And through training in, in being careful and mindful with anger, then that anger will not have the chance to arise or to perpetuate itself. And therefore, this is not something that, you know, the, the jewels or God can give us being free from anger. That's just something that's in our own hands. <laughs> Cena çeye du. Te maca ba yana. Te maca ba. Te ni. Te gönjo sonra temrere çeye. Temrere sa. Nyan da ba çeke. Nga aradın da tam. Katsı çeye de. Kuzi peye yamar. Suçi tek tuye yamar. Tek tuye suçi yamar. Te dinleş. Susun hangi sapsa çeye. Tavi tavi deriz. Te bas. Dikba pomo de soso pomore nanzus naranzo dikba di sangi ka ponto gres Nanzu jewa naranzo dwere ma da nanzu jewa sangi ki dwa pe pe ka ya res wa Che da da naranzo jewa de naranzo tu gu ya re naranzo dikba de naranzo pomo gu ya re Tindi yindi Türkçe dansıyla ana Türkçe dansıyla da sanki nazar malla bir şey yok. Dela dene nazar Allah bir şey yok. Nazar lopcun çeke. Nazar nümo de genjua dan kuyar. Türkçe dan kuyar. If we are not mindful if we don't train in being mindful around what brings negativity and what is virtuous then there is no benefit in repeating however many times the refuge prayer or accumulating mantras because nobody can in that sense save us save us it is in our own hands through our own careful and mindful practice that that becomes the true refuge that's how we will be protected by protecting ourselves through our own mindful attitude so we are the only ones who can give up our own negative actions and we are the only ones who can accomplish our virtue. 
then no Buddha can do it for us. Therefore, we need to accomplish virtue. We need to give up negative actions, harmful actions and harmful mindsets. The Buddha taught us how to do that. The Buddha exactly explained how to do that, how to change and transform this and how to transform the mind. And therefore, it is us who have to transform the <clears throat> afflictions. Dum de voce pe le la voce ha poia tam shi chaba jina. Pe ba la. Che no ko jinga jinga ko ne, no jung na shi ta ne, go zu ja. Ha ta ba do, ke me wo la kan ne ma na ngan ngan de ge res. Ni na ngan ma shi de be ga dong ge res. Kare ka ma de? Ngan ta ai shi do, ngan ta ai shi. Ni ma shi de be ga dong ge res, be ga. Ni <laughs> Just to give a very easy example, since 1954 or 1959, Tibetans have been under oppression from the Chinese and have suffered a lot in the uh, under the Chinese regime. And at the same time, Tibetans are probably the ones on this planet who accumulate most mantras, who uh, re recite and repeat most sutras, who do a lot of nyungnes, you know, they, they pray to Tara a lot, they, they accumulate Vajrasattva mantras and so on but there is nobody to save them from the struggle. It seems that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are having a very good sleep while the, <laughs> while the Tibetans are, are, are sweating with the mantras. <laughs> and therefore the difficulties and the struggles of the Tibetans have to be removed by the Tibetans. It's in their own hands and not in the hands of the protectors or whoever. Jaza. Lama ka she ge o nga ti ta ta ti ko shi shi ta gri o chi 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 lo ndo de lo ta chi 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 gri se ma wo ya de. Chu shi ge mu shi ge gyu de. Ge mu ge gyu. Ya ma ge mu ge mu shi ge gyu de se de. Ka yi san Chung Tigo to be very honest, it's almost a cause for 
laughter when many uh, lamas proclaim you will be free from your negativities with this mantra or with this sutra why because the buddha has not only said it once not only in his the first turning of the wheel of dharma but he has repeated it over and over again that we are our own protectors we are our own refuge this also means that we are the ones who need to remove our struggles who need to make sure that we remove the source for all struggle it's not somebody else that will do it for us which is often believed when it is said that you receive repeat this mantra you do that sutra and and so on and so forth so the buddha has really stressed this fact that he he said i i cannot give you my realization i cannot pass on to you my awakening i have shown you the path i have shown you uh, pointed out that the true nature of all things is emptiness and now it is really up to you to practice what i have understood and taught through the three pillars of hearing reflecting and meditating i have nothing more to give you that's what the buddha said i cannot do anything else for you ora da da ai sono ma zo zen di la tanta milu ren jin so top top de ro tan di de zero tengi de ge do ya ge ju de di sa ku ya re ke o ne ke o zero ne zero ge da na ra zo de ge ju de tan da tan de ge milu ni tu tu re mi shen ge de de du ge ju de na zo tu tu re se ge ma ta na zo ge da na na ra zo ge tengi de we ge de ni ju de na zo tu tu re se ta ならず、サブソチャマイナ。で、ミシェン、ミシェンキデワ、パンドゥンエニナツドゥプタンセトゥマレス。ああ、ですよ、トゥマレス。なんとティチャドセンケゴヤ。てだがトゥネセイチャド
and that is the path that the Buddha has taught. The Buddha has taught you need to generate bodhicitta, the man of awakening. You need to strengthen it. You need to uh, embody it and with the practice of meditation and so on. And you also need to generate the um, correct view, the, the so-called pure or authentic view. And therefore, this just to summarize the whole of the path that the Buddha has pointed out. He really has pointed out each and every single step in, the, in that path. And, when, and this, you, the, the point of the path, connecting it with bodhicitta that is essential for accomplishing it is that we practice it we, with the intention, this is not for my own sake, this is for the sake of all sentient beings. I have to accomplish Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. And for the sake of all sentient beings does not mean that I will have the power to bring them somewhere uh, like uh, on, on the level of awakening, but that means that I will have the capacity to show them exactly the same path, to, to teach it to them, to, to bring it closer to them. So this is the point. Julika, there's some questions in the chat there. Yeah. Mm. That the um the Tiwani Lev Sharwa. Chikti the <laughs> So there is a reason for this. Before um, giving the reason, just to say that yes, indeed, it's not possible that anybody gives us, passes us their realization, hands, us, hands it over to us. That's not possible. But these prayers are very meaningful and very powerful because they strengthen our faith and devotion. And that will help us in practicing accordingly the Dharma. Um, Tiwanipa, the carry has a question about sutras. Sutra Kola Tiwachi, Yeah, um, because also in some of the Buddhist sutras, I'm thinking the ones of Lama Zopa gives us quite frequently, like Golden Light Sutra, Sangata Sutra. It says in there um, that even reciting a verse or a bit of the sutra is, you know, masses amounts of merit. So it, that's like the Buddha saying, it seems a bit contradiction, just reading the words of a Buddha. We don't need to do anything else. You know, that's already going to do the work for us, kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> Some <laughs> Another 
Bile pentacı da yesi giriyorsun o. Yine maçı lo si çi gittin daha da şey tabi şey çeydi keşişi deriz. Bir şey görmemle lo 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 cennetinin da direk ya pentacı yara yama resi tıvıştığına da ne ki pentacı yara seyir de kavuşura dostu da. Şimdi gönderiz de. Ale do di lo dost lo ne. Sometimes <laughs> The most effective practices are definitely those of refuge and bodhicitta and of taking the power bit by bit out of the afflictions, training in that. And training also in the view of emptiness and relying on the words of the great masters like Shantideva and Atisha, Lama Tsongkhapa, and really making sure to look into the Dharma scriptures, what is said in these texts. And with, the, with these practices, we can really be 100% sure that they are very effective. They, they are very re reliable. It is definitely also beneficial to read sutras. That's not that we can say it is, there is no benefit. In fact, there are vast, there's this, the vast traditions of re 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 reciting and reading the whole Kangyurs. The whole um, the whole set of texts spoken by the Buddha, as well as other uh, these other sets of texts or canons, how they are called. But what is the most important about this reading is trying to get an get an understanding of what these texts are actually saying. So trying to understand even if it's just a single word okay what is this actually what's the meaning of this this is more important than a mere repetition a mere recitation so that's still probably that could be beneficial actually we can't really tell if just re just reading the words of a text if that's really beneficial is very hard to tell um like you know without giving it any thought, just like a recording, like la 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 la, la you know, <laughs> it's, it's, we can't really, it's, it, if there is a benefit, it's definitely very, very hidden, hidden in the sense of not easy to perceive. Uh so in short, the meaning of this boils down to making sure that we will that we live a life without regrets meaning 
trying our best in the mm -hmm. study, Dharma study, Dharma contemplation uh, <coughs> and meditation, and really the practice of reducing the afflictions so that we can come to the point where we notice that, wow, oh, my, my pride has become less. Oh, I'm less uh, jealous. I am uh, less uh, greedy and so on. Or, oh, wow, I, I have reduced some negative actions of body, speech, and mind. This is really what it is about. We sh that's what we should train in. This is the, the key. ตาตัวนั้นอ่านสมะโลนารัสสิมดิจงโกยาเลยจงดัจจิโกยาเลยโซอืมตังอามาโลคาชิมอลาเนสิมดิออเทนติกซิมยาวเนสิมดิดิด
Yungres, Conga Lau Mijiba, not the Kaye Yuma Suba Nashita. Comparatuna, Kalanes. Jibikebo, the children. Compar Chenas? Can I get Compar Conga? Tarantata, take him as a yagi, Duris Muba. Mahomaj in Hadeiris. Had it? Mahomaj it is really uh, just a matter of practice, just a matter of creating new habits as the word actually in Tibetan for meditation, basically it really means habituation, creating a new habit. And this is something as we know with habits, they come and grow bit by bit by bit by bit until they become a habit. And therefore we can build a habit with uh, regarding anger as something not helpful, not beneficial. And by creating and strengthening that habit, then at some point we will not um, carry out anger anymore. And therefore, that's also the reason probably why Shantideva said, there is nothing that does not become easy once we have habituated ourselves to it. In other words, if we train and something, then that will bit by bit become a new habit. And therefore, because there is the possibility to create, create new habits, that means that there will always be a development, that it's sure that we will grow and develop if we train in something. It, we will not stay the same if we train in something today in the future, we will have created a new habit, a new capacity, or whatever. We will not stay the same. Kom se de tundakanes, kom kom se la kom. Kom se de tundakte naranzo sem mandiwa chenge nyumo shuk dabush tuas. Tela chen teche. Tela kyan teje, ti lo de la, katu yene ko nyebo teje, tap shi cheje. Tap kebe, tonya ko nyomo de nyur taje, tap shi cheje. Nyur, 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 nyur taje, tap shi na. Yonzo je la, kasa ngama, da ngama ta ke na dao ka shi jima la, sem di zubu shi bisho yewa yene. Tanda, ko tese labo le cha de. Gyon ro ne, sem zubu de ma, zubu ma inga cha, sem jambo le cha de, niti. So the meaning of meditation or habituation is trying to tame the untamed mind. Untamed mind meaning a mind full of afflictions, of very strong afflictions. So how do we tame an untamed mind? By acknowledging and understanding that these afflictions are nothing helpful at all, but instead that they are false. False meaning very harmful in all aspects. And therefore, through that understanding, then training and applying the remedies for these afflictions. <clears throat> and that will lead to reducing our afflictions. For example, before someone might have had a very stubborn mind, maybe kind of rough personality. And then through training through habituation, as it was just explained, that mind becomes more 
gentle, tender, smooth, peaceful, at ease. And this is the kind of habituation that we need. Some Comes So the intention here, the mindset is really the transformation to transform the mind, bring the transformation of the mind about. It means to calm the rough mind to make it, make it become a friendly mind, a kind mind, a kind and good heart. And this is the training. If we train in that, then that is meditation. That is habituation. It is getting habit, 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 or how do we say, <laughs> getting habited. <laughs> what is that? Becoming familiar. <laughs> uh, becoming familiar and creating a habit with kindness. And with anything that has to do with a kind attitude and therefore also the opposite to get familiar with creating the habit of reducing afflictions anything that is negative <clears throat> for example you know everything is a process like with the practice of shamatha if we want to practice calm abiding shamatha shine in tibetan then at the beginning, the mind is very agitated. It's very difficult to bring the mind to uh, focus very, very hard. But then through training, repeated training again and again, the mind becomes more calm and steady. And then they speak about there are nine, the nine stages of the practice of shamatha with you know, a little, the mind starts to be a little steady and then a little more and a little more until it gets really calm and poised and focused and so on and so forth. So in the same way, how we can train the mind in the practice of shamatha, we can train the mind in, um, in going towards virtue, in orienting itself towards virtue again and again, just in the same way. Nambecho in the Buddhist teachings, it is said that the cause, the root of 
all joy and all suffering, of all comfort, of all discomfort, is in the mind. And for this reason, it is so important that we transform the mind. And that is what is meant with all the various words that we use, whether we say meditation, whether we say practice, whether we say training, they all have the same meaning. ま、ですね。どうさんたまいな。あ、こっちおでね、どうさんす。あ、チュアメンドタ。メンドタ、アルタバナタ。ま、やんだ、どうしゃ。シャタンタ。ジョータンゴドス、ラドゥ、スムニ